welcome back. This is part two of the Keep Calm and Au Pair collaboration between the Au Pair Movement and Au Pair World. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Casey. I am the founder of the Au Pair Movement and author of I Never Thought I'd Be an Au Pair. Sorry, what was that? Thank you. I did get dressed up for you today. I was hoping you were going to notice. Sorry, why did I get dressed up? Well, that's a good question. I got dressed up today because today is going to be a bit of a surprise party. In fact, if you think about it, life is kind of a surprise party. I mean, we can't predict the next thought that we're going to have, let alone what's going to happen next on a global scale. More specifically, uh, we're going to be talking about the trust principle and how to use it when things don't go to plan. Uh, and that's actually what this week's blog is about. There have been so many things over the years that have not worked out the way that I would have liked them to. Uh, and the last few weeks in particular have really got me thinking about um, what I do, what's helped me uh, during these times. And that's really what I'd like to share with you today. So for me, the first step is to take a deep breath and acknowledge that I'm disappointed. You know, sometimes I have to actually say to myself, yeah, this is not what I wanted. Uh, and sometimes life sucks and it's okay to feel that way. You know, it just means that we're human. The next thing I try and focus on is resetting my foundations. So I try and make sure that I'm eating nourishing food, uh, that I'm drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, uh, try and make sure that I'm moving my body. Um, in exercising, getting those endorphins going. Um, and also, uh, I try and review what I'm consuming. Uh, and this uh, is not just physically physical consumption, but also mental consumption. You know, what are you feeding your brain? Is it really serving you to watch the news every day, for example? It can be easy to consume things without thinking too much about it, especially if we're trying to escape how we might be feeling, try and get the basics right. Uh, and it's different for everybody. So the key is to really try and figure out what that balance means for you. The next thing that I try and do is unclench. And if you read this week's blog, there's a funny story about why I chose this word in particular. Uh, but basically, whenever I'm feeling disappointed or like things aren't working out the way that I'd like them to, almost always I also find that I'm usually trying to grasp after some sort of idea about how my life should be. So unclenching is really about letting go of the idea that your life should be a certain way. For me, that really means accepting and acknowledging the things that I can't change, the things that are out of my control. Uh, and again, this is a lot easier said than done, uh, but I really try and focus on what the things are that I can change. Unclenching and letting go is also about putting things in perspective. So I always try and remind myself that there are so many people who have it a lot tougher than I do. Uh, and often this thought alone really helps remind me to be grateful for the things that I do have. Part of unclenching also includes reassessing your options. Uh, because if we can loosen our grip on that one option that we were really hoping for, it allows us to take a step back and actually look at all the options that are available to us. So in last week's blog, I shared a story about my travels, about when I was trekking in Thailand. And I wanted to uh, discuss this story with you in a little bit more detail today because it's a great example of this unclenching idea. So for those of you that are wondering, basically I was on a three day trek in the Northern Thailand hill tribes, just north of Chiang Mai. Uh, and there was a small group of us and we came across a stream one day. And in order to get where we were going, we had to cross this stream and that meant taking off our shoes and socks and wading through the water without our shoes on. And going barefoot in the jungle at this time was such a foreign concept to me that I was just horrified when I found out that this is what we had to do. So I can assure you it was not an instant realization. It took quite a few squelching steps before I really started to enjoy the sensation of feeling the earth between my toes. The point is, if I had never unclenched and let go of the idea that I wasn't a nature person, uh, that I didn't walk, that I didn't go without shoes, I never would have had the experience uh, that I had. 
So whether it's these cheeks or your butt cheeks, whatever it is for you that you are clenching or holding on to, my third tip is to really try and let go. Even if it's just a little bit, I promise you, you will start to feel differently and you might just start to see things differently too. So the next thing that really helps me is to try and spread some magic at this point. And what I mean by that is I'll often go back and have a look at my goals and my dreams and all the things that I really want to try and do in the future. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'll also try and take some time to think about what the world is asking of me right now. And there's usually a sweet spot where these two things can come together. Um, and that's really what I try and focus on next. Try and picture a new, a new best case scenario. I think it's really important to get excited about the future, no matter what your current circumstances are. Uh, try and adapt. Uh, and I think it's really important to not lose hope. And finally, my last tip for when I'm feeling disappointed uh, is to talk and connect. And that's what friends are for. That's what family's for. So I'll really try and connect with those that are closest to me. And I try and remind myself because I'm not very good at doing it, uh, but to ask for help where I need it. There is absolutely no shame in asking for help. We all need help from time to time. Uh, and I really do believe that we can go so much further together than we can on our own. So there you have it. Next time things don't go to plan, please trust, take a breath, reset your foundation, unclench, spread some magic and talk and connect. I really hope you found it useful and I really hope you feel armed with some tools to help you choose trust over fear the next time things don't go to plan. In the meantime, keep calm and au pair. And remember, if you've been in your pajamas for the last three days, get dressed. You'll feel better for it.